my kinjas. Welcome back to another Finesse Me series. Look, I received four bundles of 28 inches from Shein. I don't know if you got to hear me right, but from Shein, their 100% human hair bundles start at $40, y'all. I was super excited when Shein reached out to me, and I was like, well, I cannot wait to try this. Hold on, now. So I went ahead and I colored my bundles because I'm going to do a quick weave method, and my natural hair is black um, because I colored it a few weeks ago. So I went ahead and I went in with my Revlon Soft Black um, Box Color. And the color took very well to the bundle. So that's another plus. Okay, Shein, we see you. And then I went ahead and I just shampoo and condition with my um, Tresemme Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. And so I don't have like a dryer. If I did, I would have just set my wig and bundles in the dryer. But this is my little hack that I use to blow dry my bundles in my wigs if I do not want it blown out straight. Because I'm going to be adding some curls into it. It's just... The curls hold better when the hair is, you know, in its natural state. So this will be my first time doing a quick weave on myself. I've never done a quick weave on myself. I'm such a wig girly. You know, me even doing tape-ins before was like something new for me. Absolutely love tape-ins, but, um, but I'm, I'm such a wig girl. But I'm trying to give myself a break from wearing wigs because as you guys can tell, I have a little discoloration on my forehead because I've been wearing wigs for years for for years so i feel like you know like the glue the combination between the chemicals of the glue and then just like me not letting my forehead breathe or catch no sunlight <laughs> is what's causing the discoloration the lightness around the light ring around my forehead but yeah so i'm gonna do a flip over quick weave method and so i had left a good amount of hair out around the perimeter because i wanted to be able to pull my hair up and down and this method is going to be braidless, okay? I did not have time, did not feel like braiding my hair. I do not have, like, a full head of hair. I have, you know, a good amount of hair, but I don't have, like, a full head of hair. So I was able to flat iron my hair, wrap it as if I was doing, like, a cute little silk press, and then put the cap over it, and it lay flat. So in the back of the cap, I did sew it down, and it does, even though there's no braids, it's still sewn down in the back. And then I used a little bit of the hair glue, to um, make sure that the cap stays in place so that way, you know, when I cut it, it doesn't like come up. So I did use some of the hair glue um, in the parting space of, um, surrounding um, the outside of my, or the inside of my leave out. So basically, I'm just going to be taking the tracks and I'm going to be placing them in a U shape. You know, if you, I feel like, you know, if you know, you know, you know how you know, quick weaves go. If you want it to fall um, into your face, you want to be able to take the track all the way up so that way it can fall into your face. Now, I want, I know that I'm going to be wearing my quick weave falling to the um, left side of my face because that that's where my face is a little wider and I kind of like to cover that. So I am going to, at the top of my head, apply my tracks to lay to the to the right because I'm gonna flip it over because I really want that high volume top piece so uh, I, if I'm going too fast I'm so sorry <laughs> but basically I just laid the tracks at the top over to the right so that way I can flip it to the left and it give me like a nice high volume effortless flip over look what do you guys think do you see what I mean do you see what I mean now, I did it this way because, like I said, I'm going to always have my hair flipped over to the left. And so now I'm just, like, flat ironing my leave out. And my hair is pretty easy to flat iron, especially being that I um, relaxed my edges. Strictly my edges. I do not relax, like, the, my entire head, but my edges, I definitely relax my edges because I just don't have the time. And um, so they sent me 28 inches, but... I wanted to cut it and layer it because I wasn't able to fit four full bundles into my quick weave because I had so much leave out out. So I was only able to fit two bundles here. So I was like, I wanted to at least appear to be a little fuller. So I went ahead and I cut it shorter, cut some layers into there. And now I'm about to curl my hair. So after I curl my hair, I just pin them so that way the curls can last longer. And uh, I did my makeup. Your girl looking cute. She feeling good. 
you know, I can't wait till my forehead get back to normal, y'all, because I want to be able to just, like, walk out the house and not wear no makeup and not feel no type of way. But, yeah, I'm taking my curls down. And the look at the volume already at the top is just giving what it needs to give. This is giving me, like, traditional old school 90 vibes, like, 80s, 90s vibes. Like, this is so cute and effortless. And I was just so amazed at how, like, natural this looks. This is literally a quick weave. It's the flip over method quick weave. Only the perimeter of my hair is out. And you don't see no tracks, you know. It just looks so good. Look, look at that. You don't see no tracks, y'all. Y'all, this is so cute. I'm like, okay, I like this on me. This is, like, super freaking cute. I've actually never even did a flip over method quick weave on a client because I've never had no one ask me to do it. But this is giving. It's so versatile. I'm able to put my hair up. I'm able to pull it back, slick back, half up, half down. Y'all, it's just giving everything that it needs to give. It's so cute. I ended up later on um, installing... I ended up like taking the quick weave down and doing less sleeve out so that way I could install all four, four bundles and I was able to do that. But yes, this was the final look of the um, hairdo. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment box if you like this hairstyle, if you're enjoying the Finesse Me series, if you're going to try this at home, if you guys want a more detailed video. You know, let me know. But the bundles were great. They're soft. They took to color very well. And I'm here for it. So shout out to Shein. Everything that you need to know is going to be linked down below in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.